So in this session, we'll start with the basic of Python, where we'll be learning like what is Python, who invented Python, and why did he name it so. I will also tell you about why you should learn Python and what are the popular companies and tech giants in the market who are already using it. So without delaying any further, let's start this session. Let me start this session with some facts and research based on Python. According to Stack Overflow's 2018 developer survey, it was found that Python is the most wanted programming language of 2018. Even if you talk about the career in Python, Python developers are in a great demand for a wide range of jobs all over the world. These include machine learning, databases, data analysis, cloud infrastructures, website designing, web scraping, security, mobile developments, and many more. Let me just give you an example. If you search for a Python developer job on any major job website like indeed.com or monster.com, you will find thousands of job opportunities out there. Based on Indeed's March 2018 data, the average salary of a Python developer in US was around $115,835. Such high average salary indicates that many companies are competing to hire knowledgeable Python developers. And it also supports the fact that Python is an in-demand skill. Okay, so let's start our session with introduction to Python. So what is Python? Well, Python is a high-level object-oriented programming language for general purpose programming. It is one of the most widely used high-level programming language and is well known for executing basic tasks with less code, which makes it more compact and an economical language to learn. If you see, Python code is often 3 to 5 times shorter than the Java codes and around 5 to 10 times shorter than C++ codes. Well, if you talk about its history, it was developed by Guido Van Rossum in the year 1991 and since then its open source community is still growing. So how do you think he came up with this name? Was it because of a snake? Well, no. Rosam named Python over the name of a sitcom TV series, Monty's Python Flying Circus. It seems he was highly impressed with the show, right? So these are some of the high level introduction to Python. Now a question might arise in your mind that what made Python so popular or why you should learn it. So let's discuss it one by one. So the first point we have is simple and easy to learn. Well, if you compare Python with any other language, for example, Java or C++, you'll find that its syntax is way lot easier than them. You don't have to worry about the missing semi-commas in the end. And its syntax is more readable and you're safe from writing multiple lines of code just for printing a statement, like in case of Java. Uh, if you talk about Python, all you need to write is just one line of statement. For example, print and within the double quotes, mention whatever you want to print. So that's how it is simple and easy to learn. The next point comes the career opportunity. Well, like I told you in the beginning of this video itself that Python has a huge career opportunity in the IT industry. Almost every other IT company, be it a startup or a multi-billionaire company are using Python in some or the other ways. So if you're a Python developer, you will be in a huge demand for a wide range of jobs in the domain of machine learning, databases, data analysis, cloud infrastructure, website designing, website reliability, testing, scraping, security, mobile developments, and many more. If you don't trust my words, just go and look out for Python developer job on any major job website. You will find thousands of job opportunities out there with an average salary of around $116,000. This indicates that there are many companies out there who are competing to hire a knowledgeable Python developer for them. So yeah, you have a huge career opportunity in Python. It all depends on your skill. All right. Next is large open source community. Well, if you become a Python developer and when you are stuck or you want to learn something new, then you don't have to worry about it. You'll find a large number of resources like reference manuals, books, tutorials, videos, forums, etc. out there on the internet. If you have any doubt or some technical issues, you can directly seek help from thousands of Python community members on forum, Twitter, Facebook, and pretty much everywhere. Now, since Python is an open source community, you will always find people who are trying to improve it, keeping it fresh and up to date with current trends and bringing out newer version of the language, right? So yeah, it has a damn large open source community. Next we have is reliable and efficient. 
ask any python developer or anyone who has ever used the language and they will agree that it's speedy reliable and more efficient you can work with and deploy python applications in nearly any environment and there's little to no performance loss no matter what platform you work with again because it's versatile this also means that you can work across several domains including web development desktop application mobile applications and many more you're not bound to a single platform or domain as it offers the same experience almost everywhere all right so next we have is the extensive library well python has a huge set of library list which would be useful for any programmer interested in python depending on their area of interest for example you have numpy for scientific computing plotlib for data visualization nltk for natural language processing django for web framework pygame for game development and there are many more it can be used in a lot of places and has a wide variety of application like for web development you can use python web framework like uh, django flask and tornado if you are into developing desktop application you can go with pygtk and copo if you are planning to use python in the field of machine learning or deep learning or data science you will find many python libraries for it like uh, sklearn tensorflow tano nltk and many more if you talk about cloud and devops you can use openstack python software development kit which is generally used to write python automation scripts to create and manage resources in your openstack cloud you can even use a python library named fabric for streamlining the use of ssh for application development or system administration task all right last what we have is hardware programming next if you are planning to switch over to hardware programming you have raspberry pi to connect your project to the real world with python well now that you know how important is python to the world let's see the popularity of python in industry well big tech giants are using python in fact python is one of the google's favorite languages they are always hiring expert in it and they have even created many of their popular products with it well i don't think i should again mention that since many big companies like yahoo facebook netflix dropbox youtube BitTorrent, NASA, and many other rely on Python developers. So these companies are always in search of talented professionals who have already worked on and have some experience in Python. There is and there always be a demand for Python developers and Python web developers, and they are even offered some decent packages. Well, this was all about the background check of Python. So this was all for this session. In our next session, we'll learn about how you can install and set up Python on your system. Thank you.